Today, I'm going to talk to you about Singapore's landed property market. Singapore's landed property market is the dream home of many Singaporeans. However, the urban myth is that it's almost as good as impossible for Singaporeans to own a landed property these days, given the scarcity of land. Is that really the case? Let's get right into it. Hi, I'm Brian from Urban Agents Incubation Program. So before we talk about the financial aspect of buying a landed property, perhaps you want to know different types of landed property first. In Singapore, we have three dimensions for landed property, namely type of title, type of house, and tenure. Let's look at the type of title first. We have strata landed versus landed. Strata landed means the house is attached to a strata title. That means the ownership is only on the space contained in the house. These can be multiple properties on the same plot of land whereby each individual unit do not own the land but they own a share of the whole plot of land together with each other. It could be multiple landed units on the same plot of land. For example, Belgravia Green is a cluster of landed houses sharing common facilities such as pool and gym. This is also known as cluster housing or it could be inside a condo development. For example, Cambridge Hill Residences has typical apartment buildings as well as multiple strata landed houses within the same condo development. Strata landed houses within a condo development could have condo status before April 2nd, 2012, which means it could be sold to any foreign buyer just like any normal condo apartment. However, after April 3rd, 2012, strata landed house within a condo development can no longer have condo status and it could only be sold to Singaporeans and permanent residents with purchase permit. After we talk about strata landed, we have the conventional landed house. Conventional landed house means it is attached to a land title, which means you do not only just own the space in the house, but you also own the land. In this case, you could make alterations or rebuild the property as you deem fit as long as you apply for the proper permit and your changes comply with government regulations. Most people assume that the owners of a landed property own the land. That's not necessarily true. If we break down the number of landed properties based on strata title versus land title, you can see that actually there's a sizable amount of strata landed houses in Singapore. Within the strata landed property category, we can further break it down into strata landed houses with condo status versus non-condo status. If you are a foreign buyer or permanent resident, you can still buy strata landed houses with condo status. Feel free to reach out to me for a summary of these properties. After we look at the type of title, the next dimension is the type of house, also commonly known as terrace house, semi-detached, detached bungalow, and good class bungalow. Terrace houses, also known as row houses or linked houses, are a type of median density houses where a row of identical houses share side walls. The house at the far end is also commonly known as the end terrace or semi-D. Semi-detached houses, also known as semi-D or duplex in certain parts of the world, consists of pairs of houses built side by side and separated by a partition or party wall. The houses are usually built in such a way that each house's layout is a mirror opposite of its twin. A detached bungalow is a freestanding structure within the plot of land. It does not share a common wall or roof with its neighbours. Within the detached bungalow, good class bungalow is the most sought after property type by affluent locals. GCBs must have a minimum land size of 1,400 square metres and it must be located in one of the 39 GCB areas around Singapore. GCBs are big enough to accommodate many family members and are known to have spaces for four cars or more. Some are even renovated with swimming pool and garden. Stressing the exclusivity in Space Guard Singapore, there are only approximately 2,800 GCBs amongst the authorised strips of land across Singapore. Let's have a quick look at the number of landed properties in Terrace House, Semi D, Bungalow and Good Class Bungalow. There are approximately 45,000 Terrace Houses in Singapore. Which one could be yours? The last dimension is tenure. We have 99 year leasehold, more than 900 year leasehold, and freehold. Let's take a look at the breakdown by tenure. Here we group the more than 900 year leasehold and freehold as a broader term of freehold. You can see from the chart that freehold accounts for a much bigger proportion of the landed property market. Now we have seen the three dimensions and the breakdown in each dimension. All three dimensions can mix and match and form different variations. You might be surprised to know that you can buy a landed house with a land title but only 99 year leasehold. After understanding all the different variations of a landed property, 
Let's look at the financials of buying a landed property. Is it really impossible for you to own one? Let's look at the range of transaction prices of landed properties in every district. We can see that in D10 Bukitima, a landed property can go up to $220 million. But don't worry, let's first zoom in to the lowest transaction price and the median transaction price. The median transaction price in certain districts over the past three years could be quite reasonable. For example, in D22 Drone, D18 Tampanis Pasaris, D17 Luoyang Changi, D12 Balestia Topayo Sarangong, the median prices is actually around 2 million only. Another way to look at the price is the price per square feet. Let's take a look at the PSF of all the districts over the past three years. The lowest PSF across all districts could be anywhere between 300 PSF and 700 PSF. The median PSF across all districts can be anywhere between 700 PSF and 2,500 PSF. In fact, in D19, Serangoon Garden, Haogang, Pango, there are many beautiful landed homes to be considered, while the price is still affordable. We have now looked at all the different types of landed properties and how affordable they are. If you are thinking of buying landed property as an option, you might ask the next question. Why should I buy landed houses instead of non-landed condo apartments? Let's compare the price index of landed houses versus non-landed condo apartments in the past 20 years. We can also compare both to the Straits Time Index, which indicates the general economy. We can clearly see that landed property price growth has outpaced non-landed property price over the past decade. If we compare that to the SDI trend, which indicates the general trend of stock market in Singapore, landed property price growth also outperforms SDI. Now let's break down the appreciation potential by four categories. Freehold conventional landed with land title, 99 year conventional landed with land title, freehold strata landed with strata title, 99 year strata landed with strata title. And the winner is freehold conventional landed with land title and surprisingly 99 year strata landed with strata title. Freehold conventional landed properties is still the most sought after property type in Singapore. However, as land becomes increasingly scarce by the day, there have been more division of larger plot of land into multiple units of strata landed houses. There have been more developers building strata landed houses lately. In the past decade, 99 year strata landed properties are gaining popularity because it usually comes with common facilities such as swimming pool, gym and other recreational facilities. Either part of a larger condominium establishment or its own entire estate, 99 year strata landed houses is relatively affordable and offers both privacy, spacious living as well as convenience of facilities. Only a landed property indicates a higher standard of living and wealth. But what are the pitfalls that you might come across when hunting for that dream landed home? If you would like to get a checklist to examine the landed property you are eyeing on, feel free to contact me via WeChat or WhatsApp. Hope you like this video. I'm Brian Huan from Urban Agents Incubation Program. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to this channel. See you soon.